the UFC returned to Chicago this weekend for a broadcast TV lineup that featured Holly Holmes' first octagon appearance since losing her belt to Misha Tate. Let's take a look inside what really mattered at UFC on Fox 20 from the United Center. The night's main event delivered on its promise of a stand-up battle with a surprising amount of action between two counter-strikers. But despite a visible size and reach advantage for Holly Holm, Valentina Shevchenko got the better of the exchanges and pulled out a unanimous decision win that further complicates the women's bantamweight title picture. Valentina is really tough. We know that. We knew that everything, you know, counter-punching, clinch, trips, all that. It's not like I haven't been taught the right things. Uh, it's just, um, it all comes down to my performance, and it wasn't great tonight. The night's co-main event was also mostly devoid of grappling, with Gilbert Melendez and Edson Barbosa trading on the feet for three rounds. Melendez held his ground and had Barbosa stunned at one point in the fight, but Barbosa used his signature leg kicks to methodically chop Melendez down and secure the unanimous decision victory. In the featured prelim bout, local hero and former WEC champ Eddie Wineland recaptured some of his championship form with a third round TKO against a very game Frankie Signs. Wineland considered retiring two years ago and suffered a disappointing decision loss in his last outing, but this confidence booster has him looking towards the future. This win tonight uh, is exactly what I needed. You know, I, I questioned myself quite a bit throughout this training camp of, do I want to keep doing this? Is, you know, is this really what I want to keep doing? And, you know, not that I don't love fighting, but I'm getting the, just the bumps and the bruises and I don't heal like a 22-year-old boy anymore. I'm, I'm a 32-year-old man, and I got aches and pains all day, every day. And uh, to get in there and, and, and realize that just because I'm a 32-year-old man, I still got it. There were other big moments as well, as Felice Herrig and Alex Cowboy Oliveira both notched impressive bounce-back wins, and down south featherweight Jason Knight announced himself to the UFC with a fight-of-the-night decision win over Jim Allers. But it may have been Shevchenko that stole the show with a masterful performance. And that's what really mattered at UFC on Fox 20.